Hi folks, welcome back. We are here on the uh, extreme northwest part of Las Vegas. Um, on the 215 expressway heading east on the uh, 215 towards the US 95 where we will take this exit and go south. This whole interchange is still under construction. It's been under construction for a while. Speed limit dips down to 45 here. It's a little, uh, a little bit above 60 uh, kilometers an hour. This interchange has been, uh, it's been a long time. It seems like I forget when they first started this. Don't forgive the, uh, the noisy windshield wipers. They are not very friendly. Have these rains in town right now. Uh, it's been raining. It's a Saturday night in Sin City. It's been raining since about 6 p.m. and it's about 10 p.m. now. So about four hours worth of rain we had. We're actually under a flood watch until Monday at 5 p.m. From the rains ahead of Hurricane Hillary, she is down about 900 miles away down off the Baja California coast and uh, she's making her presence felt here in Las Vegas already and there have been all sorts of uh, warnings about inclement weather and flooding advisories and things like that. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over 5,000 subscribers, I'm um, 5,000 subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. And I'm not sure what just happened up there. Looked like there was a police officer, had his lights on. Maybe just to get off here on Ann Road, perhaps. We're going to take 95 South here towards Las Vegas. As we go underneath Ann Road. I haven't seen much in the way of flooding out here in the northwest, but it tends to be a higher elevation out here, so it could be possible down towards the center of town. apologize for these lights and the glare because of the rain. It's really, really not fun to look at. And we have Santa Fe Station up here on the left. Santa Fe Station is one of the station casinos here in Las Vegas. As we approach Craig Road. And Santa Fe has its own movie theater as well. It's conveniently located right here off the uh, US 95 highway version and the business route 95, which heads on into town on a slant. Right now we're heading south, due south, and then we'll uh, curve east to head in towards downtown Las Vegas in a moment. And again, apologies for the sound and the glare, but uh, I want to bring this to you. On this Saturday night in the big city, Sin City, we have this HOV lane over here that uh, no one really uses as an HOV lane. And I know there's a lawmaker that is now up in Carson City, our state capital, who wants to eliminate this HOV lane completely and return it back to uh, regular driving travel lane for folks. So we go underneath Alexander Road here on US Highway 95. Greetings to those of you from the UK, India, Australia, we see you. Thanks for joining us. As we approach the highway exit here at Cheyenne Avenue, exit 83, mile marker numbering system, which operates based upon the mile from the beginning of the state line, the Nevada state line that is, down south, just south of uh, Laughlin, I believe. And now past 
passing underneath Cheyenne. See some red and blues over on the other side there. I don't know if there's an accident or what exactly is going on. And you can see the uh, road sign bulletin board up there says weather advisory Saturday is Sunday limit travel well, if only that was an option but that's okay we enjoy bringing these you bring these sights and sounds to you even though the sound is of some dried up <laughs> windshield wipers we do appreciate all of you being here and watching this it's a tow truck so it looks like the police may have arrested someone and they're having the car towed. As we approach Lake Mead Boulevard. And we uh, go under the overpass here at Smoke Ranch Road, which is just north of Lake Mead. Smoke Ranch is Cary, C-A-R-E-Y, on the east side of town. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really enjoy having you here. There is no us without you. As we pass a Las, Las Vegas Athletic Club, one of many around town. The gym. here with, uh, well, we're going to turn east here to the left, uh, but it merges with the Summerlin Parkway, which runs out to the 215 on the west end of town, the town of Summerlin, the township of Summerlin. And that's also Rainbow Boulevard, which intersects this little uh, crossing if you will. And apologies again for the windshield wipers as we begin our eastward turn here on US 95 towards downtown Las Vegas. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on YouTube, I'm talking TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate those of you who have already joined and subscribed and followed. like we're just getting rain kicked up from the highway now. Maybe we've seen a slight uh, cessation of rain for the moment as we approach the interchange with Jones Boulevard, traveling underneath Torrey Pines Drive. This rain, I'm seeing some low-lying low clouds, especially, I saw them earlier down by the strip, but it was not, didn't really come into view there. I'm not sure if that's going to come out, but there you can kind of see some clouds that are low-hanging over the strip down there, which is interesting. get fog here, then that means the dew points will be the same temperature as the air temperature. A very rare event here in the desert. As we come up to the light here, our light the interchange here with Decatur Boulevard and Valley View Boulevard. Passing what looks like a horse trail. And this is one, two, three, four. Four, five lanes right now as we approach Interstate 15 in a mile and a mile and three quarters. And this is the overpass for Decatur Boulevard, a major north-south boundary here in Las Vegas.
And again, just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos as we go underneath Valley View Boulevard overpass. If we get up to over 10,000 10, subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. No, no, no cost to you whatsoever. Lanes reduced, southbound 95. Charleston to Flamingo expect major delays, it says. They're doing a lot of construction down there too, so that and the rain should make it a lot of fun for the folks trying to traverse that here this evening. Especially because of the phenomenon known as people forgetting how to drive in the rain in Las Vegas. Or maybe perhaps just not even knowing. rain begins to fall once again. Outside temperature still 68 as we approach downtown Las Vegas. And there it is, downtown Las Vegas. See the Circa is the tallest building there. It looks like they're doing an ad for UFC fighting. take the 15 south ramp. A lot of folks down there on a Saturday night spending some money. located outside the city of Las Vegas and in uh, Clark County. One of the little nuances when the casinos first started here in town down on Fremont they were kind of restricted to uh, a lot of the rules of the city of Las Vegas they did and uh, some of the other casino owners did not like that idea or those that wanted to be casino owners did not like that idea so they decided to build their casinos outside of the city limits, and that's what they did. They built the Flamingo, El Rancho, etc., outside the city limits. You see the stratosphere there, all dressed up. As we approach Sahara Avenue, here, you can see the rest of the strip down there. And just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send us on to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, and also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. And thanks to all of you who have joined and already subscribed and followed and liked and commented. And please do drop a comment. Let us know what your, uh, what your thoughts are if you want to see something else. And we uh, take one last look here at the screen before we head west. Sahara. On this Saturday night, this rainy Saturday night here in Las Vegas. I'm Vegas Don and I'm happy to bring an elevate to you while we fight through the precipitation ahead of what is Hurricane Hillary, 900 miles away down off of Baja, California. Casino over here, one of the many st station casinos here in town. You can see it right there. Through the raindrops on the windows. And then we're going to go up here to Corporate Drive. 
direction. Corporate center, CTR. And Davida are located in here. And there's a nice shot of the Strat right in front of us. Look at the rain drops out of the way there. See the Strat and all of its magnificent glory there. We're going to head back down to here. You can see Resorts World there as well. Nice shot of Resorts World there. As we head into this Chick fil A, might as well get something to eat on this wet, rainy Saturday night. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and order, and we'll see you guys again soon. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Talk to you soon.